A Sacramento couple is recovering after investigators say they were attacked by two homeless people outside their store. Sacramento County deputies say the man and woman who attacked them are now in custody and will face charges of assault with a deadly weapon. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live tonight. Roxanne, this all happened at the Dollar Thrift Store and you spoke to the owners? Chris, it did. It's right here, right behind us now. Thomas and Melissa, who are the owners of Dollar Thrift off of Auburn Boulevard here in Sacramento, say it's become a constant battle for them to keep their doors open here while also having to deal with the homeless problem here in this area. Now, they tell us that they've been dealing with this for a while, and usually they're able to ask some of the people to quietly move along in front of the business, but today that just wasn't the case. Today, the two people chose violence. They attacked my husband in the midst of attacking him. Um, I tried pulling them off of him and I got attacked as well. Like any given Monday, Melissa Jones was trying to open up her thrift shop around 1030 when she encountered a few homeless people in front of the business. So she called her husband to help her ask them to move. From there, the shop owner was attacked by one of those female uh, transients that was there with an actual object that was tied to like a lanyard, uh, was actually struck with it. From there, as the shop owner's trying to fight back and get her off, another male transient subject jumps in and begins attacking her too. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says, fortunately, Melissa's husband was there to make the people go away. A man and a woman known to law enforcement were later located, arrested, and booked for assault with a deadly weapon. Tip of the iceberg of the big problem that's going on right now. These are not just disenfranchised folks that are, you know, displaced. Uh, they are out here committing violent crimes. They are out here in the community impacting small businesses. The couple says in the past seven years, they've also had their windows broken, items stolen, and the N-word written on the building in feces. And they've noticed people becoming more aggressive. My wife could have died out here. You know, just keep, just being hit in the head with that thing, you know, I, something could happen to me, but I, I feel like I can take it. But you bopped her over the head with that, and I don't, still don't know what it was. You know, she could have been stabbed. They live just a block up the road and are invested in their community, but are disheartened and fearful this could happen again. It happens so regularly around here. Like I said, but most, most things don't turn that violent. But I mean, they are pretty aggressive. You know, telling someone that they got to wake up and sleep and go could get aggressive, you know, but it's every day. It might be tomorrow. Thomas and Melissa say they feel that law enforcement has their hands tied and are limited in how they can help. So they're asking lawmakers to make more resources available for the unhoused or if there's a way that small businesses like this could get a little bit of help when they're vandalized. Chris, Laura. So true because we know they are not alone. A sign of the times when it comes to the homeless crisis. Roxanne, thank you.